In my hand, I got Car Audio's smallest 250 watt amp. Inside my truck, I have a massive fourth order bandpass blow through with four 12 inch sundown subwoofer. And today, we are going to find out if this small 250 watt amp can power up these subs in the subwoofer box. Now, behind me, man, I have something that you guys could possibly win for free by following some simple steps. Let's check this out real quick. Beside me, I have a pair of Sundown subwoofers, 10 inch. There are a few easy steps that you can actually take to go ahead and take your chance and win these two tens. Pause the video, subscribe to the channel. Number one, we are on the road to 10K subscribers. Number two, go ahead and like today's video and every single video that I drop till we get to 10K subscribers. And the last one, which is very simple, just drop a comment. Even if you wanna drop the speaker emoji or let me know where you're watching this video from it, drop that in the comments. We truly appreciate that. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers and you can easily win 10 inch subwoofers first by simply doing those things. Now this may be one small amp, but do not let the looks throw you off. This is actually a Terra Amps DS250 slash 2. This is one of my favorite uh, amp brands that is out right now. It could be small, but you never know, man. This thing may, may hit you in the face on those 412 subs. Now, I do have another Terra Amps MD5000.1 that does nowhere compare in power with uh, DS250, but it never hurt nobody to go ahead and, and see what this little small amp can do. I'm pretty sure that's actually going to make a little bit of noise probably not the biggest bass in the world but hey you never know it could surprise us and we're actually going to go ahead and go off the theory people say it's all in the box but before we actually get into that experiment let's go inside here let's do this other experiment real quick Here I have a JL Audio W1. Man, this thing's probably only like 175 watts, maybe the 200 watts that I could possibly take. We have my MD5000.1 that actually powers up the four tools that are in my truck right now. But we are gonna go ahead and connect this guy up to this JL W1. We're gonna find out how long it can last before this guy actually falls off and blows up. Now, I actually did this one time before. Uh, this subwoofer did not last no more than maybe two minutes of a song, but today, we're gonna go easy on it, then we're gonna go big on it. Now, I went ahead and ran a wire straight from the 5,000 watt amp into the subwoofer. And we're gonna play some music with some bass and see how long this guy can last. I give it a minute and some change, but we're gonna go easy with it, man, then we're gonna crank this guy up and see if it does a soldier boy. You're never gonna believe this thing. Oh my God, you hear it? That thing. This thing sounds like it's had better days. I cannot believe it didn't even handle that much power right off the bat. Man, I really thought this guy was actually gonna, man, it is kind of hot on the bottom of this magnet. Oh yeah, you hear it? You hear it? Man, I actually thought it was gonna do a little bit more than that, but uh, let's have some fun with it. I think I actually found out how we're gonna go ahead and celebrate getting AK subscribers. Man, we're gonna go ahead and whack this guy right here like office space. Man, you seen how they did that uh, printer that was messing up on them? Well, this speaker just messed up on us. We are gonna show this thing who is boss right now because it let us down for our video today. Take. definitely got what it deserved man it deserved that beating that let us down on today's test uh, i thought this was a good working sub obviously it was on its last life we went ahead and ended it today just because it did us wrong and we hit 8k subscribers definitely knocked it off the park with that one but i'm gonna go ahead and catch my breath because that wore a lot out of me today
going to test this small, massive 250 watts on my 412 Sundown subwoofers, man. Let's get it. Sadly, this thing is a 4 ohm mono amp. As you can see right here, it says 4 ohm mono, uh, 2 uh, ohms each channel. So we're just going to end up just doing just one channel to see what it does. So if it's 250 watts, man, we're probably only going to get 100 watts out of this guy, man, realistically speaking. But hey, that's not going to put a damper on our video today. This is already the second failure in today's video. We're not going to let that ruin us. Hopefully we do not blow out this amp while we're in here jamming, but we'll see what happens. Speaker already blew. Could the amp blow today? Who knows? Well, we're going to see what these 412s can do right now, man. Everybody always says uh, you can put subs, you can put you can put subs, you can put amps, but it all determines on the box. And we're going to definitely put that to the test right now. So I went ahead and connected the Terra Amps DS250 to the speakers. It doesn't take a lot of uh, voltage power. Uh, it probably is run on 8 h power. I didn't actually get to go ahead and bridge this amp and get the most power out of it. I just had to put it in a single uh, speaker input, but it's going to be 100 watts and we're going to see what it does right now, man. Let's get it. That amp is actually connected as a stunt wall tweeter amp, so I'm going to actually go and turn on the power for it, but it's actually connected through the subwoofer right now with the RCA. I'm actually going to go ahead and control that guy with the sub volume on the EQ. Let's turn the volume up on the radio, copyright free music so we can jam. Go ahead and rewind this. Oh man, look, you hear it? We got a for signal, man. It's, it's about to go down right now, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. Man, those things are beating. Oh, again, come on. free song man let's play a real deal song real quick hopefully we don't get copyrighted man i have the jams right here that man these songs anytime you play them in your vehicle man they're definitely gonna get down play this gucci If only you could be here right now to hear this man these 100 watts on these 412s it is definitely the box doing this job because 100 watts that is crazy man this thing is beating man let's, let's go ahead and play it again real quick All right, guys, man, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, man. I am still left without words. Uh, thank Tear Amps DS250, man, mousetrap certified, definitely bangs with the 412 Sundown subwoofers. Man, drop down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think, man. This, if you guys were only here to hear this, man. But that's it for now, man. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, man, we're on the road to 10K subscribers. You can definitely win these two 10-inch subwoofers right here by simply subscribing to the channel, liking this video, and every single video till we get to 10K subscribers. Man, drop the comments on this video and every single video that I drop till we get to 10K subscribers. That's your luck. Subscribe now, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.